Ah, what a beautiful summer day. Perfect weather for something to go wrong. Student council task, August. Thaw seven mysteries. Ooh, never heard one of these before. Uh, the other ghosts have been going around the, about the seven mysteries of the academy. I desire this grim knowledge. If you do, visit the Occult Research Society Club Room and Student Union Building. I've been there before. Side by side, cop. We're adding a new feature to the bike, and we want you to give it a test run. Come to uh -huh. come see us in the engineering building when you're uh, ready to ride. Okay. Schoolhouse mystery. Does anyone in class 7 actually read these? If I wrote whatever I wanted to here, would they investigate the old schoolhouse regardless? Perhaps I should use this opportunity to tell a joke. Oh, I know just the one. Two men walk into a bar, instructors Nightheart and Thomas, perhaps, and oh, and the other one says, oh, blast, I'm out of room. <laughs> I hope he continues it next time. Oh, looks like there's quite a few today. Tao seems pretty swamped when I saw her, too. Not sure what is keeping her so busy, but I want to do what I can to light the, uh, lighten the burden. And then there's the old schoolhouse. Hmm, I'll have to free us some time for that. Reveal. Whatever the fuck that meant. I guess we'll just have to see what we turn up this month. I promised to tell Crone Million when we get going, so... Hmm, I have to give them a call when I'm ready to head in as well. Oh, are you... are you leaving early today? Yeah, I was just about to head out. <laughs> Do take care then. The sky is looking a little ominous today, so I suggest taking an umbrella. Oh, you sure? Seems like another boiling summer day to me. Hmm. Perhaps it is right now, but I have a hunch it won't last the day. Either way, I'll be, uh, I'll pray you have another fruitful day. Ah, oh, well, thanks, Sharon. I'll see you later, then. Special ops- Ooh. Ooh. I am wearing that. No. Oh. Is this Millium exclusive? Uh, exclusive? Cannot equip right now. What is even the point? One by a million on super secret missions and stuff. Yep. That's what I figured. God damn it. I want to wear it. Or something of that style, not that specifically. Okay. What do I have as an option today? Free time, Gaius, Usus, Crow. Uh, I still find that weird. And Milliam, I should probably give her a chance. And then... Not Fee, not Sarah, not Marcius, and basically everyone else. Well, except the student council president, but yeah. I should, I should probably... Uh, I should give Milliam a chance. This is her first free day, I might as well uh, go welcome her. I still think she there's a, like a really good chance she's a spy, but hey, Reen. Uh, wait, what's with that getup? Uh -huh, it's our free day, so I get all dressed up to go shopping. That's not what you call normal wear. You probably shouldn't be seen in public dress like that. Why don't you just wear your uniform? Boo, that's no fun. Trust me, fun isn't the issue here. I'm kind of worried about leaving her on her own, though. Yeah, I probably should. Mind if I tack along? Sure, fine by me. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Only after you've changed into some other clothing. Oh, I'm forgetting letting you come with me already. Hey, I don't make the rules. And so, rejoin Millie on her exciting shopping adventure. Ah, huh, I didn't think you'd head straight for the boutique. Are you looking for new clothing? I mean, you only have those two pairs of clothing, right? The uniform and the whatchamacallit, super secret spy uniform or whatever it was called in the um, clothing options menu. 
Oh yeah, I don't really have any normal clothing. <laughs> I hope they've got some cute stuff. Huh, I guess she's got a girly side after all. Well, she also has her childish side and her very violent side, I bet, too. Ah, sure, let's go take a look what they've got. Oh yeah, you should totally get the maid uniforms. Hey, look, this is nice. Hmm. Most of this stuff doesn't seem like it would really fit you. I'm pretty sure there's a kids section over there you could check out, though. It's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna be huge soon enough. Um, yeah, I suppose you are, what is it, 13? That is maybe actually on the late end for, um, for puberty to really start hidden and... I've got a bright future ahead of me. I admire your optimism, at least. Or maybe, because you're 13 already, and you're a girl, because that's typically... Puberty for girls is usually early teens, yeah? I don't know, I haven't been a teenager for quite some time, so maybe I'm just forgetting when these things typically happen. I admire your optimism, at least. So basically what she's saying, she's not going to be able to wear any of these normal clothing until she's out of high school. Yay! I mean, aren't we all, like, 17 and she's 13? That's so much younger! She's like, she's like, literally, like, a child in comparison to us. Four years at that age. I mean, four years when you're, like, in your 30s and stuff isn't much. When you, I mean, relative life experience, basically. Haha, <laughs> how about this, cute? Uh, I guess. I want to look for stuff that matches how energetic you are, though. Oh, Lammy could totally wear this. She asks me a question and then proceeds to ignore me. Great. Hey, hey, I want to try this on. Try what on? William showed Reen a see-through camisole. Oh, no, 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 you're definitely not. No, 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 you're way too... You're way too young to be wearing something like that. Haha, <laughs> what's up with that reaction? I don't even know what I just ran through your mind, do I? No, your shit-eating grin means you know exactly what Reen is talking about. You know exactly. I'm older than you, so how am I the one getting bullied here? Because she's one of those troll characters that isn't even trying to be subtle about it. Ah, uh, Reen and Milliam browse through the store wares, buying everything she likes. Ooh, how much money does she have? After that, they return to the dorm. Thanks for coming with me, Reen. It's pretty fun having you help. Uh, ah, nice to hear. We definitely bought too much stuff, though. You probably don't even need half of this. Haha, <laughs> it's all good. Claire gave me tons of money to spend. Wait, is it too heavy for you? Oh, want me to help, uh, bring out Lammy to help? No, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. No, I'm fine. Ugh. I reckon I need to teach this girl some common sense. You know, she might very well know common sense. I have a feeling... I have a feeling she totally knows common sense. She's just going to go ahead and um, ignore it. Because it's more fun that way. And I don't disagree. Ignore common sense actually can be really quite fun, actually. But still, she's probably just ignoring common sense. Okay. Time to make an important decision. Who gets the bear? Who would look... Oh my goodness, I actually sort of want to. Oh, no, 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 no I have an idea. No! No! The entire point! Ah, oh, the entire point was to get him the bear and make him look super silly. Fine, use this as the next best choice. What? No, I can't! No! Why not? Oh, come on! I can't equip anyone right now. Okay, fine. I guess I'll have to wait. Who could I really stand to level up a bit more? Crow, technically, but... Nah. Maki is too, technically. I don't think I'm able to actually do anything with him. Um, uh, I'm pretty much... I think I'm pretty much at a point that I can just choose whoever I feel like. I do that anyways, but... Uh, I was trying to decide between some people and... I don't really have a strong opinion on who I want to hang out with. 
So I thought I might use that to decide and proceeded to be basically told by the world, no, nope. <laughs> you don't have any good reason to choose any of these. Ooh, what's going on here? Glad to see that you can make it, Instructor uh, Makarov. Well, well, Mint's playing, so I can't exactly skip out. Oh, skip out on this. Oh, oh yeah, I should totally do this. Yeah. <laughs> right now, she's just doing some final checks before the show starts. Please, head inside. Yep, I should probably check out Elliot's show. Oh, hey, Reen, you made it. Hey there, Elliot. You're looking kind of nervous. Uh, is that easy to tell? Uh, there's quite a few people here, so I can't really help it. Especially since I'm the lead violin player now because of uh, Hibel's accident. I can totally understand why you're nervous then. Good luck. Uh, thanks. <laughs> You'd probably be uh, glad if I stayed. Add one more person to the crowd, make it seem bigger. Yeah, let's make it seem bigger. There's some, some uh, still some time left before you're on, right? Let's chat a little before then. It might help calm your nerves a bit. Uh, thanks, Reen. I really appreciate it. Elliot started tuning his violin before the performance began. Uh, that should do it. Uh, all that's left now is to wait until it starts. Not too long now. You're looking pretty confident, though. Huh? I mean, well, I can tell you're nervous, but... You look focused, like you've had a big distraction taken off your mind. Hmm, you're probably right. I think that's thanks to the last month's field, uh, field study. Now that you mention it. A lot of good things happened to me while we were back in Heimdall. I got to meet my friends who ended up attending the music academy. I got to talk to you all about everything. I finally have the confidence I need to stop running from my love of music. But I never would have gained that confidence if it wasn't for all of you. Huh, well, you really are tough, aren't you? Good luck out there, Elliot. I'll be cheering you on with the rest of the audience. Just you wait. We're going to uh, put on the kind of show you'll tell your grandkids about. I... I doubt that. And so began the Wind Orchestra's performance. Elliot and the rest of the Wind Orchestra played passionately, pouring all they had into every note. The passion captured the hearts of all who were present, and the performance was really deemed a resounding success. Your bond with Elliot strengthened. Level up! Reen and Elliot reached a higher link! Yay! Cool! I thought it would be more than three people, though. Honestly, when you say Wind Orchestra, I think more than three people. But good job, Elliot. Uh, knowing you that, this not definitely help me play my best. I'm going to uh, go so far to say I pulled it all, I put off a performance of power with what my friends at the Music Academy could give. I'll say. I was really impressed. Looking forward to hearing some more music like that in the future. Thanks, Serene. I won't let you down. Okay. And you know, I really haven't hung out with Yusus much. Wait, is this the liquor section? Down there in the corner! Are you, just, are you looking for liquor? Hmm, hey, Eustace, I don't see you around here too often. Hmm, well, I have some things I need to purchase. Oh, stuff for the riding club? Well, not exactly. And anyway, we don't mind me. It's nothing of particular importance. Well, he's definitely got something on his mind. Yeah, sure, let's hang out with Eustace. I don't really think I've done... I'm trying to think if I've ever actually done this. I probably have done this once. Well, I'm here and I've got some time to spare. Why not tell me what's up? I might be able to, uh, I might be able to help you out. You do enjoy uh, sticking your nose into other people's business, don't you? Oh, apparently I picked the perfect time to hang out with him. Because I get to know all his juicy details. This does sort of look like the liquor section. Uh, so your uncle and Brea Hart sent you a letter then. He ran that one restaurant, right? Correct. It seems that he caught wind of the fact that we were involved in the terrorist attack during the Summer Festival. Which caused him to get worried and send you a letter. Ha, well, uh, just goes to show you how much he really cares about you, huh? Hmm, there is no reason for him to be concerned over something so minor. Especially as we've rarely contacted each other up until now. 
<laughs> Don't even try to hide it. You're happy about this, I can tell. Quiet. More up to this point, I feel some remorse for causing you enough concern to feel the need to write. Ah, uh, so as much of a pain as will be. It feels as though it's best to include a token of my thanks along with my reply, so I'm going to get him some really good liquor. Which explains why you're here. Found anything you think you'd like yet? Not quite. Uh, I rarely come to stores like this in the first place, so I don't even know where to start. Ha ha ha. What are you laughing at? Oh, no, sorry, I was just relieved is all. It's nice knowing that Rufus isn't the only person you're willing to let into your life. Ah, uh, I was looking for an opportunity to spell nonsense, aren't you? Putting on your personal, uh, putting your personal failings aside for the moment, now that I've told you, you need to help me find something for him. I was counting on it. The two of us proceeded to browse the store for something appropriate. After some time, we found a rare brand of tea that Rain used to drink back home and decided to buy that. Uh, apologies for taking up your time, even though I told you you had to by the end. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, I actively said yes to doing this, so it's good. I'm sure your uncle will be happy about this. One can only hope. Your bond with Yusuf strengthens. He's probably one of my weakest bonds, so it was a good idea to do that anyways. Hey, Emma. What are you doing? Hey, Emma. What brings you here? Oh, Reen, you wouldn't happen to have seen Celine anywhere, would you? I've been searching all over for her. Oh, I knew it had to do with the cat. Celine, that's your cat, isn't it? Uh, well, I wouldn't exactly call her my cat. She's just with me a little while ago, but then she bolted off like something caught her interest. Hmm, I haven't seen her around, at least not recently. Well, I probably shouldn't be too worried about it. She's the uh, capricious sort, not unlike Milliam, I suppose. She must have run off to have a little cat adventure somewhere. Maybe I should help her look for Selene. Yes, maybe I should. I am now super curious. How about I help you look for her? After all, two pairs of eyes are better than one, right? Uh, are you sure? Uh, well, thank, thank you for volunteering. And so the two of them began their search for Selene. Dun 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 dun. They searched high and low, checking areas where Emma and felt Selene might be, and relying on Reed's power to duck, uh, detection. However, no matter how hard they looked on campus, they could uh, they could find no trace of her. Uh, I think we're going to have to start looking in town. That would make uh, I'll take up even more of your time. Uh, don't worry about it. I'll keep looking uh, with you until we can find her. I mean, I only have a bunch of very important stuff to do today. But don't worry, this will only take up one bonding point. Which means it'll take up one amount of time no matter what. That's how time works, right? Hopefully she really is in town, at least. I'm fairly confident that she hasn't gone somewhere else, at least. Uh, we should still we should still try to find her as soon as we can. Uh, can. Agreed. You seem a lot more worried about her than you let on earlier, though. I guess you're just trying to convince yourself not to panic? Uh, something like that. I do think of her as a friend, after all. Right, let's start looking around. Where might the suspicious little cat be? The talking cat. Oh no, it's gotta be a talking cat. From that one time I caught um, Emma talking to someone and she said it was on the phone. No, it's a talking cat. No one seems to have seen Celine anywhere though. Uh, she's not making this easy. Indeed, just where has she run off to? Celine, could it be? The schoolhouse. Oh, never mind. Oh. Is that? A really bad sounding... Ooh, milk. Oh, Celine, this is where you were. Why did he run like th uh, run off like that all of a sudden? Is she eating something? Seems like it. Huh. Are these sardines? Sardines? They're small dried fish that are usually used in the east, mostly to make broth. I guess cats really like them though. Maybe Mitch ordered a few and gave her a couple as a snack? Ah, <sighs> you really gave me a fright vanishing like that, Celine. For a moment I thought that those two had Those two? Ooh, more information. Uh, nothing, it's nothing. 
It is not nothing. You know it's not nothing. You've been hiding this from me for like four chapters now. And it's been very obvious something has been going on. Come on. It's about time. Ah, uh, uh, thank you for helping me, Reem. I don't know what I would have done without you. Uh, uh, I'm happy we found her. That wasn't very nice, though, Celine. Emma was really worried about you. I don't think it cares. Celine, there's no need to be rude. Ha, <laughs> cats be cats. Vindictive little bastards. Just give me a shout if you ever need to help. Uh, if you ever need help with anything else, of course. Your bond strengthened, and yep, yep. Okay, well, I'm not entirely sure. I, with those two, who could those two be? Someone like part of the student populace that might know about whatever the fuck they're hiding? Some, like, two unintroduced characters, which seems more likely at the moment, at the very least. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. Haha, <laughs> welcome to the Occult Research Society. What kind of fortune would you like me to tell you today? Green Class 7. Health. Romance. I can give you life advice if that's what you wish. Oh, sorry, I'm actually here to get my fortune. I'm not actually here to get my fortune told. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I'm all of that. You are sent by the student council, weren't you? You could have at least played along a little, though. You're not much fun. Ha, <laughs> ha. I'm kind of fun. Uh, Barrow's a strange one, alright. She's got quite the reputation amongst the girls as an uncannily accurate fortune teller, though. <laughs> There's something that you'd like to ask, is there not? Uh, answers are merely a question away. Just to know what kind of rituals and curses are my favorite, perhaps? Well, that's probably the kind of thing I'm better off not knowing, thanks. Wait. She didn't just read my mind, did she? Oh, ha, nah. She couldn't have. <laughs> I assume you've been informed about what I want you to do. Uh, yeah, you want me to look into the Academy 7 Mysteries, right? Precisely. The sooner you start investigating, the better. Are you ready to begin? Hmm. Eh, uh, sure. I'm ready where you, uh, when you are. I know a lot of schools across the country have mysteries like this. Uh, but I don't know that Thor has had a set of all a set all its own. Uh, I'm glad I could give you the good news. Uh, they've been a hot topic amongst some of the girls recently. Oh, uh, I would have guessed that. Uh, but you said you wanted me to look into the seven mysteries. Does that mean you don't know what all of them are and want me to find out what you don't know? No, I know the basics of each mystery already. What I'd like to ask you to do is uh, investigate how credible each one is. I see. Is that something I'd really be able to investigate, though? I mean, if they're supernatural. Uh, you can just think of it as part of your investigation. If you can't come to any conclusions, then so be it. Either way, to be more specific, I'd like you to talk to the people most likely to know something about each mystery. I could do it myself, but I'm not exactly what you'd call a people person. Ha ha ha. Oh, right, okay. I think I get what you want me to do now. Can you give me a head start by telling me uh, what you know about each of the seven mysteries, though? I think if I told you everything at once, it might be so much horror to take in that even your heart would stop. So ask me them one by one, and I'll tell you what I know about each. Okay, that sounds like a good way of doing it. Either way, leave the investigation to me. Huh, I look forward to hearing what you discover. Thor's seven mysteries has started. Do you wish to hear about the Academy Seven Mysteries? Yes. Okay, I guess this might this might be an extensive side quest. Uh, for example, of the lake hell. The pop size is amazing. 
Okay, so art room, music room, instructor, Thomas, Paula, uh, fencing club, uh, pond, fish, tennis, and made in the upper dormitory. Okay, got him. I'm pretty sure this girl's the head of the art club. Excuse me, could I have a minute of your time? No, I'm busy. Oh, my goodness, her eyes. But my ears work, so I can listen to whatever you have to say. Go ahead, state your business. Okay. I guess she's going to keep working while I talk. That's pretty impressive. Mind you, she doesn't seem to have made much progress on that in the past... ever. I'm actually looking to one of the Academy 7 Mysteries, one of which is called the Art Room Scrying Skills. You wouldn't have to know anything about... Uh, condensation. Sorry. Like I said, it's condensation. No idea how many people have come to ask about that. It's not just tears, just, it's not tears, just condensation, water vapor in the air. If big words scare you. Who in the right mind would actually believe a sculpture could cry? I guess the world would never run out of idiots. I see. Is that it? Yeah, pretty much. Thank you for the information. There's nothing. Well, that's one settled. Hey there, Paula, who's oddly enough in my life a lot more lately. Maybe you've become a new class member of Class 7. Yay! No. No, no. You're, uh, Green from Yusuf's class, right? That's right, and you're Paula from Class 5, I assume. It may sound weird, but I'm currently looking into the mystery surrounding the school. I've heard the rumor of, uh, calling the hidden graves. Uh, I have. That's the one about the dead rising from the graves in the field, right? Lambert and I found a hole in the field a while back, and the only thing that came out of it was an exam with a bad grade. Seriously? Yep, seems like uh, someone couldn't deal with getting a score that bad. So then I tried to put the test under six, uh, six reggae under. I didn't even bury it, though. I just dug a hole and tossed it in. I filled it up since some, uh, someone just tripped. With a grade like that, you can only say that... Um, you can say the only grade a grave or culprit dug was his own. Yeah, that joke was so bad I couldn't even force myself to laugh. That aside, thanks for the info. That was a big help. Sorry for insulting your sense of humor. It's not that bad, just it's not that good either. Oh, what are you two doing? Oh my, must have me! Did you clone yourself, Vivi? Oh, wonderful, now we can work twice as efficiently. Fake Vivi can tend to the flower bed over there, and real Vivi can be in charge of getting the equipment ready. Oh, she's good. <laughs> oh, she took it in stride. Hey, Rain, still good. Uh, still fishing the good fish? Eh, not really. Honestly, not really. I don't think that's how the saying goes, but I guess you could say that. It's actually something I was hoping to ask you about. Ah, uh, Crimson Devil Lake Hell, uh, Lake Hell Ring Any Bells. That's one of the Academy's Big Seven Mysteries, right? The only one I know of, at least. Seriously, does anyone actually believe a place like this was connected to Hell? Probably not. Any idea what the Crimson Devil's part about? Uh, it's probably just a crayfish. You see them around here every so often. Must be it. It's a crayfish. Uh, red things. Kind of look like crabs. Kind of look like lobsters. They have two big claws, just like devils, I suppose. I'd be surprised if the crayfish inspired the whole thing. Yeah, especially when you put it like that. Thanks, Kenneth. Eh, she's going to be so disappointed that no one has uh, any belief in these. The occult mysteries had probably wanted some of these to be true. I think she's the captain of the fencing club, right? Sorry to bother you, but can I ask you a question? No bother, ask away. As it happens, I'm looking to seven mysteries at the academy. Have you ever heard of the sports club, uh, Grudge? Oh, sure. People have been talking about it since I was a first year. Though I don't suppose we'll gain much traction next year. Why is that? It's pretty simple, though. The screams don't come from people, but the door that, uh, used to be here. It's been in bad condition for years, and used to make these awful screeching noises. Uh, so I asked for a replacement at the beginning of the month. Now everything is nice and quiet around here. Oh, that explains that. Thanks for the information. Uh, you're very welcome. Man, these are all so mundane. I mean, I'm not shocked, but... Hey there. Huh. I, I, I do have to go get going relatively soon, so... Don't talk too much. Oh, Irene, my boy, what sort of questions have you... Uh, has your inquiring mind come up with today? As it happens, I'm looking to do something for a fellow student. Do, uh, do you know anything about the Forbidden Tome? For, uh, supposedly locked away in this library. A Forbidden Tome? 
My, what a fascinating idea. Just imagine if it contained details of the sacraments of the ancient Sumerian civilization. Or perhaps it would be uh, a grimoire written by the crossbell alchemists in the Middle Ages. Would it be thrilling if one really existed? Uh, yeah, it would. That's what I'm asking. In other words, it doesn't. Or he knows. Or maybe, maybe he knows that people ask about it. And that's his way of deflecting and making people think it doesn't exist. <sighs> I'm onto you. I'm onto you. What exactly inspired you to ask about this imaginary tome? Well, I'm investigating the seven mysteries of the Academy for someone else. And one of them has to do with the book full of the world's greatest secrets hidden deep within the library. Ah, so that's what this is all about. This year's story is even more absurd than the one I heard last year. But I do believe I know what you're talking about. You do? The tone the story refers to, in fact, a volume of... How should I say this? Gentlemen's Special Interest Literature. Porn. Hell yeah! Well, okay, can we check that out? Seriously? I don't think we have internet yet, so can I check that out? <laughs> uh, at least the forbidden pot is right. Not because it's dangerous or anything, but because it's rather naughty. We tell you boys all the time after... Uh, time after time, not to bring those sorts of things into the academy, but somebody always has to try. Not a boys would be boys, I suppose. This little tale started because we gathered contraband here before we disposed of it. Ah, that's one way to do things. So if you have a, a prize collection of your own, make sure to leave it under your mattress back home. So you want me to find it and share what you're into with Instructor Sarah and the rest of the faculty. L let's be realistic here. She probably already knows. Actually, Millian probably knows everything about my uh, porn interests. Considering she's part of the intelligence division. Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, anyway, there's nothing especially unusual or mysterious about the library, I'm afraid. You have made that abundantly clear. Thank you for your time, Instructor. I have to go now. Goodbye. I think this is Hibel from the Winter Orchestra. Oh, hey, what's up? I have a quick question for you. I'm trying to investigate the Seven Mysteries Academy. What have you heard about the haunted piano? Oh, that story. That's one about a ghost playing in the empty piano room, right? Oh, so you do know it. Well, what can you tell me about it? Ha, huh, so you want to know the truth, huh? It turns out the ghost was me all along. Well, really? Okay, calm down. I didn't mean that I'm actually a ghost. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what I thought. The room started spreading because someone heard noises, but they thought it was an empty room, but I'm pretty sure they just stumbled upon, uh, stumbled along while I was tuning the piano. Really? Yep, it's not exactly rare to end up totally obscure from view when you're in, uh, turn turning certain parts of it. Chances are whoever heard that at the time couldn't see me. So basically, I'm your so-called ghost. Yep, that makes sense. Right? Sorry, though, you're probably hoping for something a bit more exciting. Ah, uh, not at all. You told me just what I need to hear. That barrel might, a barrel knight uh, might not be thrilled, though. Thanks for your time. No problem. Of course, how can I help you? I'm investigating Seven Mysteries of the Academy. There's one story about a uh, poltergeist in the dorm. But do you know if there's any truth to that? Ah, uh, I do, in fact. Some of the more experienced may told me all about it. I've seen it for myself. You've actually seen the poltergeist? Ah, uh, not quite. But it was a simple explanation behind all the havoc. As the story goes, plates are broken and the utensils stone about the kitchen, right? But these things happen when the girls try their hands at cooking for the very first time. The kitchen can be very chaotic. This tends to hit its peak in May, when more of them want to practice their cooking classes. But I think a poltergeist makes much for uh, makes for a much of far more interesting culprit when uh, the people are sharing the stories. Also, a much more uh, one that they don't have to tell about how horribly they failed at it. Ah, that explains it. Thanks for clearing everything up. Oh, I'm glad I could have been a help. That's the seventh mystery eluded. In the end, none of them turned out as spooky as I hoped, but well, well. Oh, Barrow won't be too disappointed. Uh, I see. Condensation magazine's a test. None of those are supernatural at all. I honestly didn't expect any of them to be real, but the truth is even more pathetic than I thought it'd be. Ha, <laughs> I agree. Although it's kind of interesting that people were able to make such fantastical stories out of perfectly ordinary things. I suppose that's true. Still, I'd like to thank you for looking into everything for me. So here you go. It's something hacks with one of my favorite curses. Ooh, cool. Thanks for the, the equipment. Thank you. To tell you the truth, I'm a little surprised that none of the mysteries had anything to do with the old schoolhouse. It seems like the perfect setting to go with a good uh, ghost story. I wonder why that didn't come up. I mean, you already know that there are strange monsters in there. And there really are, like, supernatural shit going on there. <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course it comes up. In the real Seven Mysteries, at least. 
Uh, could you say that again? I couldn't quite make it out. Uh -huh, I didn't say a word. Perhaps the investigation has gotten to you. I could have sworn I heard her say something about the real seven mysteries. Oh, don't worry. I have replay. I can prove she said it. Because I'm actually recording this. Not many people do, but I am. Oh, well, it's probably a better idea not to get into it. For now. I suppose maybe we'll have a future request involving that. Okay, that's everything for today. I'm out of time to record. Next time, off to do the other quest, which was the sidecar one. And then off to the old schoolhouse. See you all later. Drive safely.